R R Y Johnson. All right, Terry, you don't have to lean into it, but it's okay. Well, you live here on the corner, and you said you had uh, you were actually just walking up the stairs when a bullet wa went through the, your home. Tell us about that. Well, the bullet came through the stair through the house after I just left from where the bullet came into, and I got down on the stairs and asked my roommate if she was okay, and they kept coming at the house. Now, what did you, you what did you hear? Well, what did you see in here when, whenever? Well, after I got up, I seen a car racing down the alley and gunshots were still going off. And then I went downstairs and that's when I seen the bullet in the house and the stairs. And I went over and asked if my neighbor was okay. But everybody in your home's all right? Yes. Okay. And, and you didn't actually, other than him coming down the alley, you didn't see anything else? No. Okay. All right. Now, you had seen something. Do you mind if we ask you questions too? No. Okay. All right, go ahead and let me make sure that's still recording. Say and spell your name for me. Carrie Phelps, C-A-R-R-I-E-F-E-L-P-S. Got to make sure that's right. <laughs> make sure that's right. <laughs> All right. And uh, I heard gunshots, and so I went to my front door and looked out, and there was a car coming around. I think one had just gone by on north, and it was a little white Chevy. And he turned in the corner, and there was a black kid driving, or gentleman, and another one hanging out the window like he was sitting on the window passenger side and he was just shooting over his head just like random and uh, then I watched and he turned down the alley and that's when I called well I called 911 I was dialing it and I wanted to get to the window so I could see the car see if I could but I couldn't get the tag and I heard a few shots but you know he headed on down the alley so. and do you live in this home too yeah I live in the front apartment and you said that there's been one other time where somebody's been shot here, but otherwise, no drive-by shootings, not a lot of violence in the neighborhood? Not that I know of. Like I said, that one was, oh, several years ago, probably. I've been here 11 years, probably 10, 10 years ago or so, in the corner. And they just, the guys just seen him walking, and they knew him and shot him. And that's an, another incident. But yeah. With this incident, you said it went down the alley, and you went inside, dialed 911, you didn't see anything else? No, like I said, when I seen the guy with the gun, I uh, grabbed the phone, dialed 911, and I went to the window so I could see if I could see the car and stuff. You know, see what make it was. Mm -hmm. And then I told him on 911. Do you remember what the guy looked like that was shooting? Uh, black. Uh, he had something on his head, like a stocking cap or some sort of them caps they wear. And a uh, uh, jacket, but that was about it regular handgun yeah I, I would say it was more than a regular handgun because he was piling off a lot of shots so and when it when it comes to you see all these these markers here possibly mm -hmm. shell casings I mean it looks like maybe five ten shots there I mean do, do you think you heard five or ten shots oh yeah easy mm -hmm. and that was when I first got up to go see what was going on I thought maybe some kids had firecrackers and then it didn't sound like firecrackers <laughs> and uh, but it was too rapid fire. It had to be, you know, several, you know, gun had to hold several shots. Do you think that they were chasing up another vehicle for what you saw? I couldn't really say, because like I said, I, I seen one vehicle go by when I was at the door, but whether it had anything to do with it or not, I have no idea. And then, the, you know, he turned a corner in that. And at that point, he just looked like he was shooting to be shooting, you know.